Hi guys, this is Brent with Studio One Expert and today I want to show you how in a really really quick way we can create our own kick drums using Studio One's Tone Generator. So I'm dragging over the Tone Generator here and I'm going to keep it on the sine wave in the Tone Generator site and I'm going to engage the global overall level and tune this down to somewhere between 60 to 100 hertz. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click to create a region and I have to bring my level back up and I'm going to right click on the side here and I'm going to render this as an actual track. And now what we created in the tone generator has been sampled into this sine wave as we can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to normalize this and I'm going to trim it down to a size that will suit my needs. And what I'll do is I'll just bring the level down here. I'm going to shape the envelope a little bit and then we're going to add some of Studio One's native effects and send it to sample one. Okay, let's create some fades. Okay, good. Now, I'm just going to get a rhythm going here. Okay, I'm going to now pull up Studio One's Pro EQ, and we can find that on the side here. I'm just going to slightly reduce the amount that we've created in the sub. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in the red light distortion and I'm going to try and add some more harmonics and improve the crest factor of this kick. Let's go through some of the presets. And now let's insert the limiter and we're going to change this from the true peak mode to a soft clipping mode. I'm going to use this to try and make the actual kick just knock and hit a little harder. So we're getting a crazy amount of reduction but that's absolutely fine. And I'm just going to go in now, I'm going to shorten the overall value of the actual sample. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm now going to pitch this sample down. And finally, let's sum it from the stereo just to mono, it'll be on the safe side. I'm just going to bring up the gain and the threshold here. Change the attack mode fast. Great, so now that we have that, we can start to add to it with other layers. I'm going to follow on from this video and use some Foley and show you how you can use Studio One's Expander in Studio One Professional to basically add to this sound and give it some more transient information. So stay tuned for the next one.